Hi guys. Hi. This looks like an impressive display. <laughs> so what is this all? What is this uh, little? What are what are these? Uh, LED these are LED, LED strips. Yeah, LED using, strips. Yeah, yeah. The name of the project is flexible LED display. Yeah. And using WS two eight one to be LED strips. Wow. And you're making a big display for. Yeah, we are making. Uh, one meter in length and uh, like in height it's uh, 0 0.6 meters. Like a TV screen. How much did yes. all these LEDs cost you? Uh, near about $300. All it's these not too LEDs bad. Only. So how are you addressing them? That's uh, the we are using MATLAB yeah. for uh, in getting real, RGB values in real time. Image. Yes. How do you manage that? You, uh, yes, and uh, the RGB value which you are getting from MATLAB then we are oh, sending to Arduino. We are sending to Arduino, programming yeah. Arduino Sketch, yeah. and then sending to Arduino. And the Arduino data pins is controlling the data pin of these LEDs, uh, which has one data pin, one uh, voltage pin, and one ground mm -hmm. pin. So we are sending to data pin of the LEDs, and each LED is accordingly the RGB values we've got. So we're gonna so display can, the same color. So you can address that whole thing just with about three wires. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gosh, that's impressive. Yes. Yeah. And this, uh, that's the good thing about these LEDs. So oh, yeah, I see until that. Until you don't, don't uh, send the data to these LEDs, it doesn't turn or doesn't display anything. So how, how do the, I mean, how do you, you've connected the LEDs, are they in series or what are they? In series, in progressive way. Yeah. So you can use the parallel as well. Yeah. It doesn't like need to be in series only, yeah. but the, according to the data we are getting in our MATLAB, yeah. that in RGB and uh, series and in progressive way, according to the display connection. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, the whole concept is working. It's very interesting. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.